The Erna Mansion Adventure Rules. No building. Every chest is obtainable without building. No breaking. Ah! God damn it, why is it raining? Has this I'm ever happened to you? So Wasn't it annoying? Yeah. In this episode of CM Tech, I'm going to show you how you can prevent this reaction when people play your maps. First, you're going to want to download NBT Edit from the forums. There is a link in the description below. Once you've downloaded the program, these right here, these two icons are the ones that you're going to get in the zip file. You want to unzip that and put them somewhere. I just throw them on my desktop. Uh, sorry about the mess. Ignore all that and double click NBT edit. Now this is Windows Vista so this is going to come up but you don't really need to. That probably won't come up otherwise. Now what you're going to want to do is open the file of the map that you want to change. And it comes up, you can see data, the 16 entries, map features, raining, all of these things have a different function. Now map features, this is your strongholds, this is your dungeons. If it's set to 1, that means they will be randomly generated into the world when the world is generated. So that doesn't really matter for us map makers, does it? Raining, thundering, this absolutely matters. If this is set to 1, these two things right here, this means that it will be raining and it will be thundering. So these things, depending on your map type, some people will want to leave those as 1, some people want them have them as 0. Uh, it certainly increases immersion uh, for a dark sort of horrible story if it's raining or whatever so the way you edit them is just double click on them it will come up to edit value type the let number you want zero for off one for on and it changes it's as simple as that when you press save it will save and the map is saved the other thing that this is really good for is changing the game type you can change from any of the game types to any of the game types so you build your map in creative mode which is one uh, and you want to change it to survival mode, survival is zero and that's what you're going to want to do before you release any of the maps so they're not in creative mode when they begin rain time and thunder time now these two are really interesting these don't actually say how long the rain is or how long the thunder is specifically what these two things do uh, once the time runs out it changes these zeros or these ones to the opposite so once this time runs out, it will turn raining on. Or, once this time runs out, it will turn raining off if it's already on. So depending on the map, uh, for Aranev Mansion, for example, I put this in because I don't want it to rain ever. Nor do I want it to thunder ever. So you just put in a ridiculously high value, make sure thundering and raining is turned off. And now it's never going to rain, it's never going to thunder unless a person is just standing there away from his computer for an extremely long time and not a lot of people are going to do that. Uh, and the other really good one is this one right here of time. Before you release a map, as well as changing the game type and the raining and thundering to what you want, you're going to want to change this time to zero. Now it will take away all of the time on the map. So this means all of your, it will, it will no longer record how long you have made the map for. I think when I, <laughs> I don't even know when I started, when I did this the first time I changed it to zero, it was at a very high number uh, because Minecraft tracks how long a world has been active for. But if you change it to zero and we log back into the world, uh, you'll be able to see that it is sun, uh, it is dawn because the time is set back to when the first time uh, you ever made the map. Now there's a whole lot of other stuff here such as player uh, data um, that you can mess around with and do stuff. It even has a whole inventory. You can set up what your character was doing, uh, which direction he was going when you quit, uh, the way they're rotated. All of these things can be changed in here uh, and it's a very powerful program for, but for custom maps the main thing you want to do is the raining, the thundering, the game type, that one's super important. And I mean, you could have a hardcore mode adventure map that uh, gives you only one life and when you die, you lose. That would really kind of be depressing, but uh, certainly to somebody to think about. So now that we've changed this, we're going to press save 
And if we go back into Minecraft, uh, you will see that all of those things have been reset and life is good. Yes! The sun is coming up and it isn't raining. I can tell this is going to be a great map. <sighs> Another happy consumer. And all because you took the five minutes it takes to use NBT Edit and configure your world correctly. I hope you enjoyed this episode of CM Tech. Stay tuned to this channel for more Minecraft goodness. Hey, did you check out the Mapmakers podcast? Click here to learn more.